My name's Sarah, and I did my project on pompano percentage. So about the Florida pompano, scientific name is Trachinotus carolinus. They are schooling fish, bottom feeders, they love shallow water, and in Texas especially, um, and the East Coast, about 90% of their annual commercial comes from pompanos. They get about five to eight pounds, and they're growing popularity in the food industry right now. Their um, chefs are in high demand because their fillets are even on both sides. So right now they're about an average of $17 a pound. So the question was, would it be a higher percentage of pompanos out off our Dolphin Island beach, either in the morning or in the evening? And my hypothesis is that there would still be more pompanos in the morning. So it's really simple, a saying net, a notebook and pencil, and the only thing you really had to get trouble with was a partner to help you sane at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> so you have to get out in the field about 6.30 in the morning. The sun's up. It's before breakfast. Most fishermen go out in the morning. Gather your materials. Rinse your sane net before you go out. That way you have a clean sane net to work with. And then once you get to the beach, unroll it all the way and take it out into the water. We go about four feet deep between like your waist and your shoulders. That way, since they're schooling fish, you actually have a better chance of getting some. And then put it in the water, make sure the weights are across the bottom, pull it all the way tight. So when you pull your net back to shore, make sure it's angled, the top of the poles are angled out towards the ocean, so you're scooping it up instead of letting them out the net. And about a meter before you get up onto the beach, you're gonna pull it up like a basket and carry everything up on the, onto the shore. And then you're gonna count every organism in the net. So you record the species and the number of everything, and then you can toss them back in the ocean. So you're gonna stay in until you get about 50 fish. And if you get more than 50 fish, I counted everything that wasn't the majority. Like the majority of what I caught was anchovies. So I would count everything in the net except the anchovies. And then the last, I would put the anchovies. So of course, rinse your saying that back off, put it away. And once you get all your data, you're going to calculate the percentage of pompanos. And you're gonna do this again at 6.30 in the evening. And I did mine for three days. Two of them were consecutive. Like we said, we have a lot of work to do. But it's, it's pretty, it's, you get more data if you do it consecutive. So, in the morning, I had an average of 16% Florida pompano in my net, and in the evening, it was only 12%. Other things I caught in my net, like I said, the majority of it was anchovies. I also got a whole bunch of jacks and spots. I got a few shrimp, and I think the coolest thing was a little spade fish. Here's some of the pictures I took. This is two comb jellies, a look down, these are anchovies. We caught a school one morning, a baby blue crab, a spade fish, a little brown shrimp, and a jack. So in conclusion, my data did support my hypothesis. And if you're partial to fishing for Florida pompanos, you do have a better chance in the morning. There was a 4% difference between morning and evening. And it was more difficult to say at night. And the probable cause for my results was, since they are schooling fish, they need more uh, area, since there are more of them, <laughs> and to get more food. And right here on Dolphin Island, we have a diurnal tide, and right now it's in spring tides, so it's our highest high tides and lowest low tides. So in the mornings, the tide's coming in, and in the evenings, the tide's going out. So they have more space in the morning to get more food. And I'd like to thank the Sea Lab and Discovery Hall program for my scholarship from the Alabama Science and Engineering Fair, Jennifer Latour, my mentor, and Tina Millerway for helping finish a project in two weeks, Danny, Bonnie, and Jennifer for getting up and going to the beach with me, Carson and Madison for getting up and standing with me, and Marina for helping me get my stuff together. Any questions? Thank you.